Violent day across the city of Chicago. At least one person has been killed and 15 others wounded in a number of shootings. Nate Rogers has been following these attacks and joins us with the latest now live. Nate. Yeah, that's right, Dane. Um, a very violent day here in Chicago, indeed. Right now, we're at 55th and Damon, where, as you can see de behind me, detectives still trying to get a handle on exactly what happened here. Um, not a lot of details just yet confirmed by officials, but certainly a large police presence here. Also, dozens of shell casings on the ground right outside of this Clark gas station and convenience store. Now, what neighbors describe as a drive-by shooting happened just after 7 p.m. We're told four people were shot all now in critical condition police now blocking off all westbound traffic along 55th and Garfield from Damon to South Honorary Street now back out here live we can see um, officers on the scene examining a luxury BMW near this gas station um, where uh, and again dozens of detectives are here on the scene this of course all comes hours after a man was shot and killed at a gym shoot store in Bronzeville. Crime tape and traffic temporarily stalled at 47th and Cottage Grove. The shooting happening inside Snipes, a popular gym shoe and clothing franchise. At least three gunshots were heard. This cell phone video captured the victim on the ground. Loved ones standing by pleading for help. I ran across the street and the guy was laying down dead. He also had his child mother in the car and also a baby. She looked like three or four. Police say the victim was shot twice in the chest after a physical altercation with another man still unidentified. The victim made it outside but collapsed near this gray SUV. He was later pronounced dead at UFC Hospital. Witnesses say the gunman was seen running across the street and eventually out of the public sight. Hearing them cry. And then a little girl, she was lucky. Detectives spent a couple of hours reviewing surveillance footage and speaking to witnesses. As crews removed shattered glass, this woman who patrols a nearby parking lot for a private security firm says it was all too much to bear. That was the first time I ever seen something like that, so yes, it was devastating. And in terms of that shooting there in Bronzeville, at last check, that victim had not yet been identified. Also, no suspects in custody in terms of this shooting here in um, at 55th and Damon. Again, four people shot at last check, two of them in critical condition at Mount Sinai Hospital, two of them in critical condition at the University of Chicago. Chicago police still waiting to update us on their investigation. We're live on the city's south side, Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.